Hello, welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm excited to share with you, with you this topic today. We're going to be talking about pacemakers. So we're going to go over what our pacemakers are essentially, why do some patients need them um, and others do not, and then also what are some important you know, nursing precautions that you should be aware of, especially when a patient uh, has a new pacemaker as well as also an uh, old or current pacemaker. So stay tuned and that's what we're going to be covering inside today's video. Hey, so before we move on, one thing I want to mention is that, um, you know, it's really important to be able to stay awake, stay alert. Right, and sometimes you want to do that without the crash and the burn that comes with like coffee and other things. So I want to recommend to you our energy shots here. These are all totally natural ingredients, okay? And it also contains like B6, B12. It contains. It does have caffeine in it, so it's gonna wake you right up. And it comes in both grape as well as orange. So these are our energy shots. Just click the link below this video and use the code. Um, that's included below the video and you'll be able to get it at a special deal You'll get a full pack and this really lasts honestly for like a long time and it tastes excellent All right, okay, so let's talk all about pacemakers and Helping you to better understand how pacemakers work and what are some things you need to know about it now before we get right into the topic I do want to also mention as well is that if you are trying to pass your NCLEX exam, you're watching this, you're a nursing student, nursing grad, and your goal is to pass that exam, whether it's your RN or your LPN exam, um, then go ahead and text the, the word at the bottom, NCLEX help to the phone number. And what we'll do, we'll be able to send you study tips, downloads, promos, things that we're doing. Um, and it's gonna be, you're gonna find it very helpful, especially when it comes to trying to pass your NCLEX exam. So go ahead and make sure that you text that word right now so that way you can get that information. Okay, all right, so now let's go right into um, the conversation today, which is talking all about, you know, um, pacemakers. So it's important that um, you understand why somebody is getting a pacemaker and how a pacemaker actually really, you know, works. So pretty much the way you want to see it is that the purpose of a pacemaker is to help normalize the rhythm, all right? Normalize a rhythm that's not working. So a pacemaker, a pacemaker works like a, um, the same way the SA node works in a normal functioning heart rhythm. Okay, so if you're if you're familiar with how, um, <coughs> excuse me, if you're familiar with how the EKG or how EKG rhythm works normally, it's that there is the impulse starts at the SA node, which is located on top of the atrium of the heart. All right, so the SA node, and then that SA node fires, and that's pretty much the starting point of the EKG rhythm. All right. So that, so the essay note is like our natural pacemaker, right? That's, that's kind of like the word that I related to. The essay note is like our, the natural pacemaker. So essentially when somebody, um, when somebody needs a pacemaker, right? A, an artificial one, right? One that the uh, doctor has to do surgery and put inside of them is because their SA node is not firing normally like the way it's supposed to, right? So they're going to be at risk for their heart to um, pretty much go into cardiac arrest, okay? So this is going to be common in people that have um, like they go their the rhythm goes often into VTAC, VFib, um, third degree heart block, um, frequent PVCs like constant PVCs as well. That's that's the people that you're gonna see 
that's going to need a pacemaker. So pretty much their heart rhythm is not firing normally, right? And so whenever the heart has those type of rhythms I just mentioned, then there's a high risk of them going into cardiac arrest and dying, right? So that's why they need a pacemaker in order to produce a normalized rhythm, which is going to um, pretty much give them like a normal sinus rhythm. A pace, a pacemaker rhythm is different too, because it will literally, you, like you'll see indicators that shows that this is a paced rhythm, right? Which pretty much reveals that this person has a pacemaker. So you can actually read a pace, a rhythm, and be able to identify that it's actually uh, a rhythm that's sinus rhythm, but because they have a pacemaker specifically. So it wouldn't be required in somebody that has, for example, um, atrial fibrillation. No, right? Because atrial fibrillation is a problem where the heart, or the heart is erratic. The atrium is erratic, right? So the atrium is erratic, and because the atrium is erratic, that has there's an increased risk of like blood clots, which can develop a stroke. And so if, if, the, um, it, if they have um, uncontrolled, uncontrolled atrial fibrillation, which usually occurs when they're newly diagnosed, then in those incidents, they're going to need like a, a, a ablation, cardiac conversion, they like may sh shock their, them into a normal rhythm. Uh, and then a lot of times they'll have a chronic AFib, right? But you don't put a pacemaker for, a, for AFib. It's it's a condition that they can live with as long as it's controlled and they're medicated. But a pacemaker is specifically for patients that their rhythm goes into VTAC, VFib, um, frequent PVCs, which can result in VTAC, uh, third degree heart block, which can pretty much result in complete uh, occlusion. So this is where, th when this type of situation those are where you're going to see a pacemaker resulting uh, in a patient needing a pacemaker. So here's really quickly what it looks like. Um, you know, this is a, a, a pacemaker. You can see how small it is, right? Because especially in, in, in context to the EKG strip on the piece of paper, that's what it looks like. And when somebody has a pacemaker in, of course, we have to make the, that the manufacturer, um, when it comes to putting and making sure that the pacemaker is working functionally, working properly, very, very important before they put that pacemaker in. And the patient's going to obviously need to see, get regular checkups um, with their um, cardiologist to make sure that they're doing well. So the, here's what it looks like once it's actually in their body. You, it, uh, this is typically, that's the location right there on the right side of the patient, right? So you're looking at it, it's your left side, but it's on their right side at the top. So when you are, this is why it's important to assess your patient, especially once they first come into the hospital um, or wherever you're taking care of them to do a thorough physical assessment. So you can see things like that. All right, so that's essentially what we're looking for. Um, and being able to note take that and chart that, you know, and then also um, patients that are on a pacemaker, depending on what they're there for, what they're hospitalized for, they should also likely be on a rhythm, a cardiac, continuous cardiac monitoring. So that way we can make sure that the pacemaker is working properly. All right. So that's essentially what a pacemaker is um, all about. That's what it looks like. If you want to learn more as far as EKGs and better understanding, you know, EKGs and, you know, make sure that you go ahead and watch some of my other videos where I go over more into EKGs and EKG um, strips and how to interpret EKGs. All right. So if you found this helpful, make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like, follow and subscribe button um, and share this video with somebody that you think that may find it beneficial. And I'll definitely see you in the next video.